Hello, my name is Stefan Kraus from ByteBytes, and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to use World Creator in combination with RTP, also known as Relief Terrain Pack. So as you can see here I already created a World Creator Terrain and, and applied four textures on it. It's very important that when working with RTP you first apply the textures before um, applying the RTP material onto your terrain. Uh, this is exactly the same workflow you would do with a uh, standard Unity terrain as well. So once these textures have been set up here, please check out our texturing tutorial about how to how to achieve this. Switch over to the general tab and select under the material settings the RTP. If you click this one, RTP, you 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 get an RTP notification. Just click OK. Now the RTP system is applied and if you now switch over to the inspector, you can see that the RTP script is already applied to the to the terrain. If I select the terrain here, here we go. Here it is. I have to scale up a little bit so you can see it fully. And there you can see our textures that we have used. Now, changing these textures is not possible inside World Creator because um, texture and control, so-called set, uh, it means um, that. Um, to, to set up the textures that are used is fully done by RTP. So you would have to actually select the textures and drop them into RTP to change the texture. However, World Creator will synchronize once you hit the generate button. You can see that the texture that you have set up in RTP is now available also in World Creator. So, anyways, you can, of course, uh, use the further distribution settings to set up everything that you might think of here. For example, let's say we having some wanna add a little bit of snow in addition with several other values for cavity for example here. Like this, you hit generate, turn off the visualize heat maps. You can see everything is set up correctly. So now RTP is already working in the background for our terrain. You can apply the, uh, the normal maps in, in, in here as usually by drag and drop. Um, just to show you that RTP is working here. I'm changing the tiling, let's say to 20, so you can see the differences. Here we go. You can apply a Perlin map, as you can see here, and set up all the fancy stuff that you would do in uh, inside RTP. Um, if you, for any reasons, don't want to use RTP anymore, then switch back to the general tab and um, select the material, uh, what, whatever is here, for example, the built-in standard. Once selected, you're back with the built-in standard Unity material for your terrain. If you completely want to remove now RTP from your terrain, just click this button here, remove RTP from terrain. I'm, I, I, uh, I'm just not going to click it because I want to show you how to switch back. Anyways, you can just generate, perform all the further um, settings like changing the textures inside World Creator again. And uh, once you have done all that, it, that you wanted, for some reasons you want to change back to RDP, just select again, you leave terrain pack, and RDP is working again. However, um, make sure that while working with RDP, uh, you're not unchecking the texturing uh, uh, checkbox here because then RTP is not further recognizing those textures. So it's very important to leave this button here on um, to, um, to allow RTP to get the textures from World Creator. Okay, for any reasons, if, uh, if for example you, you see a blank white terrain and you have set up your textures correctly and also inside RTP you can see your textures, um, then there's a magic button inside RDP that you would have to press then, switch over to the settings, and there's a refresh all button. If you hit this one, your terrain gets texturized using RDP again. Okay, so hope you like it. Please check out our other tutorial videos, and bye-bye. Uh,